This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, get ready to bathe in blood and break out them bad accents because we're talking Bram Stoker's Draculia. I'm the, Andrew Jupin. The children of the night. Uh, Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris Cabin. And we love movies. Hello, everyone. Welcome to We Love Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, that's right. This beautiful little month we plan comes to an end, unfortunately. We'll be back talking about shitty movies next week. But for now, here we are. Bram Stoker's Dracula from 1992. Woo! Directed by Frankie Ford Coppola right. himself. It's Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula. Indeed. That's right. Yes. That's and right. I think this is also... it's. It's apt because this is kind of the end of his career. <laughs> like, yeah. After this, this it, right? it's Jack. Jack. Now, Jack, we should definitely invest one in one day. Time. We're going to do when, when we're far enough from the Williams. Uh, just, I, fallout. Never, I never know when that's going to be, dude. Here's the thing. I think in another in 2024, is it going to be 10 years? Did he die in 2014? I forget. That because sounds I think like right. Ten years, we could start doing his movie that, again. Then we're getting back into the business. <laughs> He's got some of those gems. Like Jack is about a dying man that's boy. turning into a baby, a baby boy man yes, who's de- decaying or whatever. Yes, it's it 2014. has. So tw- twenty twenty four, okay. we so can the, get back on doing okay. Robin right. Williams. Yes. That's has, something to look forward to, folks. Yes, it has the man himself, Bill Cosby, in it. Oh, so that's right. Can, Bill Cosby's yes, the he doctor. Oh, he is. My God. Oh, well, boy. stay tuned for Robin the Grave Williams month. <laughs> <laughs> yes coming up in 2024 the theme months back in style um so, and then it's like the rainmaker and then it's these those three like late ones that he did that nobody saw i, I mean the one i saw was youth without youth i thought was pretty good youth i haven't seen youth. tetro and i haven't seen twixt yeah. but i i would say Generally speaking, this is when it ends. I thought yeah. Youth Without Youth was okay. Twix, I didn't see, but I understand it's a delicious candy bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> did well, Dan appara- Deacon do the score for that? I, I believe, believe he did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. And I was like, oh, I'll check that out. And then I never did. And yeah. then, like, he's coming <laughs> back with this Metropolis movie, which apparently is finally in production. Megalopolis. Megalopolis. Yes. Apology. It just started shooting, like, the other day, I think. Yeah. Something. The sequel to Metropolis. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's a meg. It's mega. It's bigger. It's it's funny. Adam Driver is just checking off the auteur like checklist. Mm, oh he's yeah, like, he's gonna get the last Michael Mann. He's gonna get the last Coppola. Probably. Yeah, what, like, what are you cursing Michael Mann for? I he just gonna, he does. He gets so few movies made. Know, he better well. get his waterboard shoes on if he wants to work with Catherine Bigelow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wild ass cast for this Megalopolis. I'm not gonna read it, but if you go sure. to IMDb, there's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, in there that is. Movie. Yeah, it's, it's a big old thing. Yeah. Uh, there's a wild cast in this film as well. Very wild oh, cast. Oh, right. In this movie. Dracula. Yeah. Well, no. Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula. 1992. 1992. <laughs> starring Gary Oldman. Mm-hmm. Keanu Reeves. Indeed. Uh, Winona Ryder. Uh-huh. Come on. <laughs> and Sir Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, you got, now it's going to okay. get fuzzy. Press three for theater. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Waits just fucking. Taking a literal mile. He, oh, yeah. Coppola was like, here's an inch. He's like, no, I want a mile. I'm going to get the whole mile, baby. You know what's funny is I think, because I saw this movie like when it came out, basically, and I think it was on video like 93 or 4 I watched it or whatever, but mm. I didn't see it in the theater, sadly. But Tom Waits is always ingrained in my head. I thought his role was even bigger here, revisiting it today. I was surprised how minimal it is, but it's so viscerally ugly that it's yes. stuck with me. I mean, that's the thing. Everything about this movie is huge. Yes. Like, just oh, yeah. over, over. I mean, I just love it. Like, that's what's great about it is it's overdone. I mean, there's, it's good that there's so much scenery because everybody's stuffing it in their mouth. <laughs> yes. But it's not just scenery, dude. It is like incredibly, impeccably crafted scenery. Everything about this movie is like, it's weird. In a way, it feels like a Guillermo del Toro movie mm. with like the amount of craft 
and like precision set making and everything. Like this movie looks incredible. The backdrops look incredible. The matte paintings look incredible. Mm-hmm. The sets look incredible. Like they did such a banger job. And he wanted to go on location, and they were like, "Nope, way too expensive." Do it in the studio, and I'll tell you what: once and once in a blue moon, you get a good smart studio yeah. note. And this uh, is one of them. Uh, Francis, we remember the last time you were on the vacation. <laughs> yeah, totally. We, we we know we've read the book. There's a book written about it, Francis. <laughs> I am not getting into some fucking uh, quagmire with you, Francis, where you're there for two years. Yep. And no co- and no cocaine. What did I say? No cocaine. <laughs> Frankie baby, there was a documentary made about you going insane over there, okay, buddy? <laughs> so but I mean, why don't we just cut the shit? But like all the stuff, the crazy like the big book and the little toy train behind it. Yes. Like yeah. it just it, like, apparently it, all done practically, practically. and not computer wise, which if they went on location, I could see them being like, yeah, we'll do that later. Oh, even, yeah. Even the scene when Monica Bellucci comes up from uh, the bed was like staged by a magician because it was just so fucking a crazy. magician. <laughs> like, that's how, but I mean, that's what, and you can see that stuff though. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, you're like, it's really like, oh, wow, how'd they do that? Or like, isn't that cool? Kind well, of I, yeah. I would have liked to see her get sawed in half. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some disappearing act would have been cool. Yeah, or if uh, some Keanu tricks. Reeves took out a couple of rings, you know, and <laughs> smashed them together. And then all of a sudden they were uh, chained up. You Maybe know? if Keanu Reeves asked the audience, punch me in the stomach as hard as you can <laughs> and forgot to seize it right for that one moment. And that young college student <laughs> could just destroy him. And Matthew Sir, Perry punch me in the happy. stomach as hard as you can. <laughs> Why don't you do that? Hello. Oh. Am I in a movie yet? <laughs> Jeez. You know, nothing but love for Keanu. Of course. We, we love the but love last week with Point Break. And I love the guy. It's just the accent. It's like, I don't think the performance is bad. The accent is bad, I, I feel. I mean, the. I think what's good about it is that much of this movie is taken from silent film, like the way it looks, yep. all those things. He has the right look yes. for a Harkin. Like it's, he's very like the delicate in this until the end. And I actually think he gets much better towards the end. And yeah. There's so much crazy in this movie. It works. Do you yes. know what I mean? There's so yeah, many true. crazy spinning plates. Like Hopkins is on fucking, I don't even know what Demerol. <laughs> dude, dude is fucking nuts in this movie is this what he did after silence of the lambs yep yeah so yeah he's got fucking big dick out of me yes swinging it mm-hmm. everywhere i and mean talk about accents this dude cannot decide if he wants to play van helsing as an englishman or as a fucking german guy yes because both accents are prevalent in this performance. now is that like maybe he was thinking that through like this is a worldly guy he's been hunting mm. vampires no 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 i think it's just <laughs> i just I starred in the movie everybody saw just now, and I won an award for it. Mm -hmm. This is a dick first performance. He (laughs) doesn't have to think about shit like that. He's trying to like mix up his accents because he's like, well, I see what Keanu's doing. And he's doing some (laughs) California London thing. Gotta match your energy. Yeah, can't have this young kid showing me up. But yeah, Hopkins is wild. I mean, he he does the opening narration and he's also the priest, but then he, he Yeah, the pre I think the priest thing is just one bite of the apple too many. I yeah. like the narration. I like him as Van Helsing. Yeah. But then it's just like I guess we're all reincarnating. I don't know. Uh, there's something appealing about that to me because you know the whole thing about um <clears throat> you know Mina resembling Draculia's <laughs> uh wife, you know, yeah. is not in the book. But where that does come about is in um, the the uh, Boris Karloff mummy movie, and like mm. he gets reincarnated, and then he's like, or he gets you know risen or whatever, and then he sees this lady who is the same actress who <laughs> yeah. you know played her in the in the prologue, and it kind of ties it a little bit to like the cheapness universal, of the yeah. universal world. That's true. That's true. I always just start thinking about like Vertigo then though. It's like, why don't you do your hair like her? <laughs> but it's oh. also, this movie is also so stagey. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, oh, that's yeah. a very stagey thing to do. That's like, very, have that's very swap fair. up characters, and especially also, yeah. to the Hopkins bit. And also this, the whole like the condemnation of the priest. Yes. And that's what Van Helsing is for vampires yeah. as well. So there's a mirror there as well. Yeah, it didn't bother me so much. And like the just the general theme of like time going on and on cycles, such and such. I hate but that. like 
Yeah, I will me too. It's Fuck the worst time. of the worst. <laughs> so I mean, we 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 meet uh, our, our boy Dracul, or I is it's Ivan now still or Vlad? Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. Vlad. Yeah, uh, so yeah. and our, he is impaling. We do see yes. an impalement oh really early on in the this, movie. Okay. I like it. The, oh, the yeah. score is fucking whipping out of the game. Oh yeah. yeah, yep. And this fucking sequence, this fucking red armor he's putting on yes. to go fight the Turks, so fucking Looks rad. Pre flayed. It's yep. nice. Yeah. Um, the guy who did the score is Wojciech Kilar, rest in peace. But um, it's an amazing, dare I say, pulse pounding score yeah. in oh, this yeah. movie. And all the shit here in this prologue, you know, you, it's the whole story of uh, Dracula's origin. Again, not in the book, created for this movie, and you know, elsewhere, obviously, but not in literally Bram Stoker's Dracula. But I love all the fucking shadow play yes. and the way that they orchestrate this whole thing. One, sure, it's a budgetary way to shoot a battle in a fucking yeah. studio in Burbank or whatever, but, like, it looks awesome. I kept thinking it about, because I think they did at one point have a similar idea. Remember, whatever that episode of Trek was we talked about a couple months ago on the Nexus where it's a season three episode and they lost all the money and it's the Western world, yeah, but yeah. it's very sparse. Right, yes. Yeah. Coppola wanted to do something similar with the sets. Spectre and, of the gun. yes. And make it very, like, dreamlike yeah. and whatever. They were like, nah, please build rooms. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, even still with that, I got that vibe of that episode from this. Why do we need? We don't need roofs. Why do we need roofs <laughs> here? He's they know to, that's there. He's trying to make Dracula goes to Dogville, which is what he's trying to do. <laughs> you know, visually, this movie kept reminding me of something I've been meaning to revisit, which is Terry Gilliam's The Adventures of Baron von Munchausen. Which is also a Turk. The, the Ottoman Empire is also the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's so interesting about like I I just rewatched that movie. It's really good still, even though I know the whole thing with Uma Thurman. Uh, not so yeah, great. yeah, yeah. There's problems, um, but problematic fave. It, it, not Uma Thurman. Uh, yeah, she's, she's in the, in the yeah, movie. Yeah, she is. You're talking about Munchausen. Yeah, yeah. Sarah Polly. Sarah Polly. Sorry. Um. So what is different from like usual? Yeah. Dracula is very glacial. Like. There's a eeriness they're trying to pump up. And what he does is he goes right directly in the face of that. He's like, no, quick. Yeah. Move this thing. Keep it moving at all. Ca-. Like, I don't think I've seen a movie that just goes so quickly as this movie does. <laughs> the pacing is well done, which is funny because it actually got panned for that. Uh, when it came out, I was I'm reading that Empire Magazine said it was an overlong bloated adaptation which a two hour and eight minute eight minute movie in 1992 yeah, was yes. an overlong bloated thing wow, yes. it's simpler times folks <laughs> no you know you what you want is the uh, dracula netflix series you'll you'll spend 11 hours mm-hmm. watching it and oh. nothing will happen <laughs> i can't wait for them to cross over with lucifer on nbc <laughs> oh you're not gonna believe <laughs> whatever what that was in the finale he they revealed that he's dracula <laughs> It was oh, some- maybe now I'll drink blood in episode <laughs> eleven of that. Did you watch this? Dracula? No, no, I'm making oh, okay. this up. No, what but was there was there was a TV some show. Dracula show. Oh, it was yeah, yeah. Jonathan Rhys Meyers. That yes. was an NBC show. Was from that like NBC? Five yeah, yeah, yeah. or six years ago. It sucked shit. Of course it did. It sucked shit. It's you about can't do a, the weekly adventures of Dracula. Oh, no. no, you just have to update it, you know, for a hip young crowd. You're in L.A. He's a doctor now, Dr. Acula, and, <laughs> you know, he's getting pages. He's going to the tennis court. I think, um, I mean, this movie is very of its time, too, which is mm. like the, there's a lot of 90s influence, not just because it's Winona and uh, Keanu, Keanu it just, which it's does, a very Gen X yes, feeling film yeah. in a good way. Reading about the whole casting stuff with Keanu and Winona Ryder is interesting because it does feel, in a way, cynical that it's like these two were the hot young properties yes. at the time. Put them in here. See what and happens. That's, yeah. Um, they're fine. <laughs> I think Winona's really good. Keanu, again, I like him more as the movie goes on, but in yeah. these first scenes. Also, it works that he's so weak because... Uh, character is weak. The character Gary, is that and That's Gary Oldman true. is so big and yes. like as compared yeah. to him and so like furious and in your face. I love it uh, that she kills herself due to some Turkish fake news. Dude, yes, totally. Fake someone news throws, arrows. Someone sends a fucking arrow through her window with a note on it that's like, by the way, 
your husband was murdered. And <laughs> she's like, be, all right. You're going to believe everything you read on an arrow, dude? Come on. <laughs> yeah, no Come way. on. No way. I mean, what? Uh, maybe somebody got a uh, $8 Twitter account and said, like, hey, I'm the, uh, <laughs> I am the arrow. The oh, shit. Well, it's the fucking leader of the Romanian army's starred off arrow. So that's him. <laughs> that's his Pri- arrow. Princess, please, please stay. Don't, don't throw yourself off the balcony. Just wait for our arrow fact checker. <laughs> he's gonna come in here and check it out. Couple of weeks, just a couple of weeks. Glenn Kessler, there. he's here. He's ready to go. <laughs> oh yeah, like just wait for that fucking body to be brought back. <sighs> exactly. Or something. I yeah. mean, like just, it's really quick. And like, yes, it's one true love. And I guess I'll never love anybody so much that I gotta chuck myself off a bridge after I read an arrow. <laughs> the uh, the effect of her going over oh, that yeah. bridge is fucking it's great. It's nice, yeah. All Dude, the falls are really good. There's a couple of them. Yes. They're all really done well. Also quick, and again, to your point, Chris, it's because this movie is really fucking moving, especially this prologue. Like, Anthony Hopkins, you know, he's the priest, and it's, you know, it's it's a uh, Christian-based thing, so guess what? You are you commit suicide, you're damned to hell forever. He is immediately ready to fucking... He's, he <laughs> he curses and abandons God. He's just mm-hmm. like, fuck everything. This yep. is but He was on the edge to begin with, I'm very guessing. Very true, but, yep. like, at the same time, Sir Anthony Hopkins' character, you know, the priest... Yes. What do you do? Give him a fucking hour before <laughs> yeah. you're damning her soul. That's a good point. Like that's a just be like, oh yeah, now I'm gonna you to about about bury her. Then like the week, if he comes back and he's like, so she's gonna be in heaven, right? And you're like, well, actually, it's been a week. Yeah, she's gonna be in hell forever. Actually, well, she, she's at rest. Let's just say that <laughs> she's at she's at rest. She's no longer suffering here. <laughs> in this Romanian town on Earth, it is fucking great though. When uh, Oldman has the freak out, he definitely punches Anthony Hopkins like in the face. Yes. Boy, a priest get hit in the face, not too now, shabby. Now, when you stab a cross right in the middle and it starts yeah. bleeding, mm. even in this fury rage, aren't you just a little surprised? Like, yeah, oh, what the I, fuck? I would be. Yeah, and no. that's what's interesting about it. He drinks that blood and then he becomes. A vampire, it's like he had this freak out and God made a new thing just for him. Yeah, that's how bad the freak out was. Yeah. God was like, well, Oh man, he's pissed, huh? Well, you did you did impale all those people, so I, I guess <laughs> I'd uh, get you something. I, I think he just caught God on an off day where he's like, I denounce God. He's like, you know what, dude? Fuck you too. You're gonna live forever and you're gonna I don't know, turn into a bat sometimes and mist. Uh yeah, you don't like uh garlic, and uh I don't know, you can't see yourself in a mirror anymore how about that man i was keep make- talking keep talking man i was making a new kind of whale over there you can't be doing shit like this you got to give me some preparation oh, oh little man likes running his mouth huh well now for the rest of your days which are forever by the way <laughs> your shadow's out of sync with your body <laughs> oh yeah tough guy fuck you you gotta sleep in dirt forever or else you're gonna <laughs> die you bitch okay maybe i overreacted you can control the shadow <laughs> you can it, it will do what you want it to do could be a second you kind of i do like that i think at the end god forgives him right? yeah you know? oh yeah it's nice it's been a, god's like you know what we all overreacted mm-hmm. you know oh, we all said it? things we didn't mean i was having a messy <laughs> afternoon 450 years ago i'm you know what I, as God, I'm sorry, too, Dracula. <laughs> I'm not sorry for those fucking Turks, though. But for you, yes. <laughs> uh, well, he was, you know, a, a, a knight in Christ's service. The Romani knight, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, so this right. God is like, keep him coming, Dracula. Just loving all this, <laughs> this huge body count. Um, so we, you know, flash forward to London, 1897. And, uh, Woo. this is, we do the first dude we meet in London is Tom Waits as Renfield in this nut house. Master. <laughs> <laughs> he, and you, you just kind of keep expecting like a, a sousaphone to be behind him. And yeah. stuff. Like, is it, it just sounds at the beginning of a Tom Waits song. Everything's like, must I everything? Everything is so weird. It's just like, da, 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 da. It's just, you're expecting it to happen. Totally. Like that, um, <clears throat> what's a more recent Tom Waits tune there? Chicago? Yeah. It's got that big honk and saxophone yes. in it. <laughs> Put that behind him in this nut house cell? Totally. Master clap hands. <laughs> exactly. Clap hands. Well, because he did the, the, the We're All Mad Here song. That's that's oh, yeah. that's right here, dude. Yeah. You know, uh, but he's, he's so fucking weird in this movie and so fantastic. Oh, it yeah. Just, it just lets you know that it's not even like this ain't your mama's Dracula. It's just like unlike anything you've ever seen. 
Yeah. Well, that's I mean, there's so much that's like that, right? Yeah. I mean, Tom Waits is in a Dracula movie. Yes. This Dracula movie ends with arguably a pretty good Annie Lennox <laughs> tune. Ooh. I mean, it's so, there's so many unexpected things like that that I, you know, and I, I understand it's it's Coppola directing it, so it's not like a Gen Z filmmaker, but yeah. it very much feels like and again, it's, you know, because of the cast, maybe, whatever. But it is, like, it, it is a super 90s Dracula. It's, it's very Gen X. I mean, fucking Dracula looks like one of the spit doctors for half the movie. <laughs> with these purple sunglasses. Oh, They're kind of yeah. cool. They, I mean, they are. But especially but... for London at the time. I bet no one else was sporting those. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. He's the only one on the block with them shades. <laughs> so <like> rebel. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Harker's company is like, all right, so the last guy we sent up there came back totally fucking nuts. But we... Dude wants another building and we need someone to sign it. We need another notary here. <laughs> and that's an interesting detail that they changed from the book is because like <clears throat> in other iterations and adaptations and the original source material, like Renfield's just a dude. Yeah. And he's crazy and you don't really know what the connection is. And he's definitely not Jonathan Harker's co-worker. <laughs> yes. Right, um, yeah. But I do like this positioning of like, oh, well, actually, you know, Keanu, this is a really good reason for you to just up and leave for Romania because this is a good career opportunity. You know, I think this is happening again, right? There's a bunch of foreign vampires buying houses throughout this country, <laughs> buying apartments throughout New York City. Oh, yeah. They're, they're yeah. the Chinese vampires. <laughs> yes, Chinese. Australian, I think, are some. Oh, sure. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if the Saudis... Russia. Look, some people need apartments for their cars, Eric. Yeah. Okay. Right. You need to well, be that's able. Why, well, that's why Dracula needs Carfax Abbey. Show it's the Carfax <laughs> Abbey. Well, After yeah, that, yes. he's going to buy MetLife Stadium. Where is he going to put all these boxes of dirt, Eric? <laughs> You answer me this. He's got all these boxes of dirt. He what? Where else? Well, that's what. Yeah, I mean, those. He's buying ten houses in London. It's his his uh, like safe houses. Mm -hmm. When he's got five stars on Grand Theft <laughs> Bloodsucker, <laughs> he's fucking running into these houses, jumping into By the, the way, dirt boxes. Oh no, the helicopter! I must <laughs> retreat to my Carfax Abbey. You just improved that game so much. If it was about vampires, oh, great dude, great yep. cheat code, dude. Yeah. Yep. Vampires, you go. That whole prostitute scene's totally different. Yeah. It's night all the time. Mm -hmm. You're just going around stalking in the night, oh, you know? God. Yes. Jesus. Now they should. Th now as Dracula, you would think he wouldn't be punching the prostitute. But of course, <laughs> the 16-year-old's still playing. Uh, uh, he goes, this is the, the great train. Like, we see our first toy train. Well, hang on a second, dude. Because while that is magnificent, what is also incredibly magnificent in this movie, we are introduced to, to Mina, played by uh, uh, Winona Ryder. One of the horniest characters oh, man. I've yeah. seen in a movie, rewatch or no, in in at least the last couple months. You know what? I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, she's yeah, so totally. fucking horny. And she's just like, "What, Jonathan, what do you mean you have to go to Romania? We're to be married. Do you understand how much I need to get dicked right now? <laughs> I mean, she's I, it's interesting when you said one of the horniest characters, I thought you were going to say comma. Is Sadie Frost Lucy? Because that is the horniest character. She's horny, but when when Keanu's like saying his goodbyes right here, she's like, "All right, sit down for a second. And they just start tongue kissing yeah, in this dude. garden, like she's ready to rock and roll. Well, it's like this whole thing where it's like, I can't marry you because we, you know, I, my position is in firm. It's like, I want your fucking dick, dude. I don't give a shit about totally. where we live. They're totally. just fuck. No, 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 no. Go, go over to Transylvania while Lucy tells me how she's fucking Carrie Elways and Richard E. Grant and uh, <laughs> the, the, this this Texan fellow. Oh, Billy Campbell, the Billy Campbell. himself. Yes, playing Quincy. Quincy Morris. Which is actually from the novel. There yeah. was a Texan in that. Well, because he was uh, uh, fleeing the, the United States after losing the Confederacy. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, um, Bram Stoker was obsessed with Buffalo Bill, apparently. Really? Not the uh, not, not the, the killer. Yeah, no, no, just well, yeah, the killer. But well, not that. Oh, she's a great too. big vampire. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, because like he had that traveling, he had this traveling show where he would go all around and like, oh, and being in Ireland and seeing uh, this big cowboy, he was just like totally enamored, like holy. Fuck, that's so cool. Oh. I'm going to put it in my Dracula book. <laughs> that's and that's why this guy thing. sticks out like a sore fucking thumb. And is, and that's I'm what's so cool it. about this. But that's what's so cool about this adaptation. Like so m many times, like, well, that doesn't fit. That's just too bizarre to have this. Like, no, warts and all. Let's get yep. Billy Campbell with the world's biggest mustache and a Bowie knife. Well, that's what's <laughs> interesting about it. It's like the, it's maximalist. Yeah. Yes. yes. What if yep. it's all bizarre? Yeah. What if yeah. that all goes to 11? 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, Van Helsing is just as crazy, if not crazier, than Dracula. Yeah. That's the movie I'm making. <laughs> yep. And, and, like, everybody, man, woman, dog beast, everybody's <laughs> horny. I mean, this movie is a fucking trip, man. Right. Um, and funny, Carrie Elway's also interesting career arc mm-hmm. of him being in this and Shadow the Vampire in, oh, right. like, 2000 or 2001. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, that's right. I think he played, like, the cinematographer under mm-hmm. Murnau. Very I watched good that movie, movie again. It didn't hold up as much as I thought it would. Really? Oh, I, really? I, feel, yeah. I tried to watch it recently, but I couldn't find it anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah so that sucks. I have that on DVD. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, oh, my dear Mina, I, I miss you so much as I write on this train. Mm-hmm. All of this, you know, maps model work eyeballs in the sky yes. I, all of that like him being stalked by the presence of dracula like the yeah. whole way god damn it's cool it's those like half dissolves on parts of the screen like the when winoda yep. is on under the train like unbelievable I, yep. I know that you you know you're you know a naive clerk from a london office and you're like oh wow it's weird that i have to meet this guy in the middle of the night etc cetera, etc cetera. When fucking Sauron comes to pick you up and literally picks you up and puts you in a carriage, you're like, no, dude, I'm going back to London and getting a new job. It's totally what, fine. What are, what are you going to do? Just roam the forest and hope that you find another horse? Yes, they're I know. wolves. You know what? I'm just going home. I'm turning around. The I, sun's going to come up eventually. This he, dude is 12 feet it's cool. tall and has metal fingers. Of course he needs to because there's wolves out there. <laughs> You know, Look, he, you know what? A wolf might bite his finger, and now it's got armor. He's a real estate agent. Why don't you have a little adventure in your life? I am a real estate agent. <laughs> Follow the Sauron to the castle. I mean, when you think about the Todd Browning film, you know, that's Bella Lugosi yeah. as yeah. the cab driver. But it's just like. He's got a top hat and he's got a little bit of a too long turtleneck and that's the disguise and that's it. And you're like, that's Dracula. That's cool. This fucking one ring wearing motherfucker. (laughs) I mean, the the helmet also like from some of the angles when he turns his head before you sort of realize it looks more like a knight's helmet. It looks like the fucking um, xenomorph head. Yeah, a little bit because the top of it's like going back. It looks very alien, not just aliens, aliens, but like from another world. And I think that's really a strength here because then he's like trying to talk to him and looking out the window and it's just a cliff that we're driving (laughs) on and it's straight down. It's scary. It's otherworldly. It's a, it's a good introduction to Transylvania. Is, is this how the Siska household was? was this, this is the kind of drop we're talking it about. Was but then <laughs> calamity struck, and now I'm trying to restore the ancient grandeur. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, yes. Yes. Of course. And it is no laughing matter. The fall of the Siska household. How dare you? <laughs> Full, full of right. Cisco, just boxes full of Cisco dirt. I just want to oh. go to your place and there's a big fucking painting of you from like 1861. <laughs> Looks like Albert Durr. I wish, dude. Oh, oh Mr. Cisco, I have insulted you with my ignorance. <laughs> I'll bid you good night. Uh, I love it. He's, uh, Keanu's reading a letter from Dracula. Yeah. And the end of it is just like, yours. D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and dude. apparently, cash, cash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because there's like, you know, a shit ton of movies just called Dracula, Coppola wanted to call it D. And then could you even imagine Francis Ford Coppola's D? Oh, I mean, God. it makes it sense is. for this movie. Exactly. It's all about the D in this film. Went to Transylvania and got the big D. I mean, he's throwing <laughs> fucking every. This is a kitchen sink movie. Every shot looks different. He's trying all these weird. There's just that one overhead when Lucy and. Uh, uh, Mina are running through the gardens where he's like, the camera is just swinging yes. back and forth. Yeah. Just because he wants it to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's creating chaos. It's doing something. It's yes. not like, it's not for no, no reason, but I mean, like, again, like, this, this movie never relaxes. Also, we, we, we talked about armor for a second. We have to talk about the iconic weird red rubber devil suit that Drac is wearing back in the it's old awesome. days. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. great. And this is a guy that was never going to turn on God, everybody. Everyone was <laughs> fucking shocked. Dude. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. They're, during this era, right, the Crusades, That's they were all covered in but, blood all the time anyway. These were murderous pigs that were the Christians. But the, uh, some angels have horns, too. <laughs> that whole suit is, and I think they have it at it the rules. moving image. 
Oh, you might be right, or they did. I don't remember, but well, I think I've I saw a picture it. of it that said it was at fucking Francis Ford Coppola's winery. So that's something. <laughs> oh, really? Maybe it was just part of it then. I know. Do you think he ever puts it on? He gets loaded. Oh, could, totally. Could, probably just the fit. helmet. Yeah, yeah. that'd be the yeah. helmet, maybe. No, the robe. The, the Dracula <laughs> robe, the big red one. He's definitely wearing that shit that around the house. That big red one. So the last time we were in Paris, we went to the Paris Cinematheque, and they had this <clears throat> exhibit going. Um, it's actually cool. Like that, that institution is pretty much the Parisian equivalent of the moving image. Mm. And they had a big vampires exhibit while we were there. So it was like all sorts That's of, awesome. you know, various vampire pop culture things and whatever. But one of them was the big fucking like cape coat that he's wearing with the long red train. Yeah. I, I, and yeah. they had it all like like you know strung out or whatever it was long as fuck and behind that is jasper's windbreaker from twilight new dawn <laughs> or new moon parted you can wow. ski the stuff right there on the collar that's peter oh good eye behind that peter faselli's uh lab coat from the final movie all right and yep. everybody on three one two three Mike Dexter. <laughs> Excellent. Yep. And if you keep going this way at our great vampire exhibit, yep, that's that's Leslie Nielsen's cape from Dracula Dead and Loving It, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look just behind that in that case over there, you see the uh the handgun and the badge and the police hat. Yep. That's from acclaimed vampire-centric television series Forever Night. Wow. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And there's the priest outfit from Leslie Nielsen's Repossessed. They came together. <laughs> and it's kind here's, of a package thing. And here's a VHS copy of Abel Ferrara's The Addiction. I don't know who left this year. <laughs> I did. Here. It's Abel Ferrara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's why there's cum on it. I get it. Got it. Thank I you. had free time. <laughs> Good he's, movie. He's kind yeah, of a vampire, maybe, or like a <laughs> goblin entity. <laughs> he's definitely dodged death a bunch of times. Yeah, that and much. good for him. So oh, yeah. uh, he shows up, and Dracula is got it's the old man Dracula with all the makeup and the crazy old lady wig going on. Yeah, oh, they yeah. like the ass hair. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> And the two scoops, like, man. It's uh, this thing. I was like, hey, man, I'm sorry you showed up so late. I, I already ate. So why don't you just eat a whole chicken in front of me? I'll just sit sure. down. I would do that. <laughs> that sounds delightful after a voyage. Here's a whole chicken. You just pick at it, whatever yeah. you want. No, I'll watch you. I'll watch you eat it. I don't want them. I mean, think about that. You got an a, a Englishman. I would watch an Englishman eat now. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck that looks like. <laughs> oh, you left, you left a little bit on that one. You want to? You mean you don't want to be wasteful, do you? Finish the chicken. You're not going to bed unless you finish the chicken. Welcome to Castle Dracula. For dinner this evening, I have prepared for you, my friend, four fried chickens <laughs> and a coke. And if you finish it all, you get your picture on the wall. <laughs> Hungry boy. Hungry boy. Now, There's... where did I put my Polaroid camera? <laughs> now, come on. That has to count. There's nothing left there but bones and cartilage. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, was it the great outdoors? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is where he offends him because it's kind of amazing. He's just like, "Yes, we were once a noble, mighty race," or yeah. something like. That. <laughs> it's just like yeah. What? Like, it's something about, like, oh, yes, we had falling out with God. Like, oh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, the, the Order of the Dragon, Dracul, and yes. uh, I guess it's Dracula because he's the son of the dragon. Yeah, yeah Dracul, yeah. yeah, son of the dragon. I, if I'm harking here, once I'm starting to hear Order of the Dragon, I'm like, oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Dude, um, <laughs> The moment when, you know, I'm a guest in this dude's house and like, sure, I make kind of a little, maybe a little inappropriate comment. Sure. He draws a huge broadsword <laughs> yeah. and puts it to my throat. <laughs> Dude, I, you don't know, know how those Eastern Europeans do it. I mean, that's a yep. lot of what this part is, which is actually interesting. It's like, oh, these these weird Eastern Europeans, that's how they do it. They're <laughs> monsters. <laughs> Well, that, yeah, I mean, that's a common greeting is sword drawing oh, in sure. Transylvania, putting a knife to your throat. <laughs> that's just saying hello. But that's uh, when he writes to Mina, uh, you know, a few minutes later in the movie. And he's like, uh, yeah, so Count Dracula needs me to stay on for another month and teach him the ins and outs of how to live in London. I'm like, dude, that is, if I'm Mina, I'm like, oh, he's fucking some other girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, no, but this fucking weird old pervert, you get to this guy's house, 
you sign the contract the night of or whatever. Maybe it's the next day. And it's like, yes, but you also have to write uh, write letters to everyone who will ever know you that you yep. have been here for a whole month. I'm like, well, this old pervert's going to make a move. That's yep. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get ready to see this dude's dick. Is he sniffing uh, the letters? What's this going to be? Oh, geez, boy. A whole month with this guy. Or I would love if that actually happened and it was like an I'm too sexy montage because it's the early <laughs> 90s and it's Keanu being like, no, dude, that's a, that's the one. That's the outfit, man. <laughs> Well done. I we I finally cracked you it. You don't think that the tinted sunglasses are too much? <laughs> no? <laughs> I didn't think the cutoff jeans would work, but look at this. The buns. He comes out in the traditional Dracula outfit with the with the metal, and Keanu's like, no, no, not <laughs> nope. it. He's pointing back towards the dressing room. Back in, bra. Bitch back stuffy, bra. <laughs> he, come, he, come, he comes out as the werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Wobbly <Andy> hand. hand. <laughs> I, like, I, I like where your head's at with the werewolf outfit, though. Yeah. Oh, more snarling. I he love come, that, the he snarling. Comes out, he comes out as a bunch of mist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people are going to get it, man. <laughs> I mean, I like it because I've been in this room with you for an hour. I'll tell you what, man. I can't see in front of me, but I can see you, brother. (laughs) And you look fantastic. Dude, when he goes to, um, like, sign the contracts or whatever... We get, like, this close-up on Dracula's hairy palms. And I was like, of course... You're all alone in this castle. Like, guaranteed the quote-unquote brides of Dracula aren't providing much for old Mr. Oldman here. Damn. He's just jerking off for centuries at a time. <laughs> really? He's not, he's not nailing these ladies you're thinking? I don't think so, dude. I think it's like a, yes, the three of you sleep in the basement, uh-huh. I, and I have the rest of the <laughs> castle. <laughs> they used to nail, I think, back, uh, yes, back yeah. in, like, you know, the 1700s or <laughs> yep. whatever. But now he's an older guy. He's trying to watch the sports game. He did. Uh, they, they, you know, you start older couples. Sometimes, you know, it's like they start to live in separate parts of the house. Oh, it's yeah, true. That's sad. But I mean, he's clearly they're they're trying to spice it up a little bit because. I mean, he brings a, a young nubile man into their bed. That's and, true. And he's hanging out on the ceiling. Well, that part's amazing because it's like, oh, yes, dude. These, I mean, this is when Keanu starts to realize that shit's fucked up with this place. Yes. And he has the great line, the great Keanu line is like, well then, I, well, then I wrote here in some crazy blue inferno. <laughs> blue inferno is not Keanu's best moment. <laughs> no, definitely. But not. that effect was kind of cool. With it the, was the blue but, flames. Oh yeah, it was all right. You could you investigate every part of the house, but be careful. <laughs> there is one room that is the blowjob room. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful not to enter the blowjob room. Oh man, I'd be trying to open every door. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? I'd be kicking down doors just in case it's locked. No, that is yet another bathroom. We have a we have a nice bucket system going in this castle. Ah, uh, yes, I see you have found my blowjob room. <laughs> You've also decimated fifteen doors in my castle. It would be. Great. I could have actually just told you where it was. <laughs> So, but sucking dick, honestly, great vampire activity. That mm-hmm. thing is full of blood, right? It's true. Isn't that how that apparatus works? That's I mean, got to be in some movie, right? Isn't that in I Vampire's so. Kiss? Isn't she? Is that was that Cordello where she bites of blood? Him? Maybe. Uh, I don't well, remember. Vampire's Kiss is not a real vampire, though. Right? So, oh, she is though. She, right? Yes. Yeah. Does she bite him on his dick in that movie? Or, I don't or, remember. I don't remember. But um, or maybe it's Once Bitten. I'm thinking of. Oh, oh maybe. the Jim Carrey movie. Once oh no, no, I'm no, definitely thinking of Vampire's Kiss. Then you know what? <laughs> yes, maybe there is a vampire blowjob. If you've seen one in your well, area, the, right in. There's one in this movie. She goes. He go, She goes there. And Sucks she, the blood out of his cock. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's it's yeah. it's nice. very pointed. She goes down, and he screams out in pain, and then pleasure. So there's at least a little bit of teeth going well, on. Well, that's th- it's like. <laughs> Yeah, I guess he was fed on a bit. He gets fed on by uh, yeah. by Dracula himself. Mm-hmm. That's very nice, Hawk, and usually they go right through. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the cool thing is Gary Oldman's like, so you're not going to kill him. You're going you got to fuck him for, what, 14 weeks? <laughs> Hold on. I mean, it's, me... it's a 1992 Keanu Reeves. I understand. I get it. I remember last year we had screening of Point Break. <laughs> Let me get video camera out for <laughs> just to get all the nice stuff. I mean, let me tell you, when I was, you know, however old, 13, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, 
my folks had this movie on VHS. So maybe younger, younger than thirteen. But um, this scene was re wow. You don't say. Oh, you, <laughs> well, because oh, also you got a nineteen ninety two. We didn't mention it. A Monica Bellucci for as sure, yes. the lead That's vampire true. bride That's here. True. Um, I mean, this was because this was. I'm watching this movie. This was the first time I ever saw like group sex on oh, the street. Sure. It was yeah. just like, what is happening? And I mean, at the start of the movie, you get a bunch of men being penetrated by spears. That's true. That's true. Impaled. I do love, uh, like, in the back and forth of him staying there. Like, we go to London. It's not a lot of like Mina writing him letters or whatever. Looking at this naughty book with her friend. Oh Lucy. my God! Yes, this Arabian Nights book that's yep. sort of like the Kama Sutra yeah. in this yeah. version. I yeah. guess. Yeah, it looks like pretty hot. I and mean, you know to what you were saying before, Andrew. Yeah, I mean, this is really reflecting their repressed sexual society. That it's like, tee hee. Oh my God! Can you? Can this even work? Yeah. I mean, like, yes. Lucy, can they even? Can a man and a woman even do that? Yeah. Because well, I, I was watching this scene. Like, how old are they supposed to be? But it's it, it's interesting to your point, Eric. Because like, she's twenty one. Like Lucy's twenty one. She says like that's that's a little old to be giggling at but, sexy books. You, you know what I mean? You're not allowed like, to fuck until no, you're, marriage, right? Yeah, you're so you're not allowed thing. to masturbate. Or your hands will fall off. Yeah. Or whatever bullshit they're telling you. <laughs> for, for international listeners, it's like living in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> That's the vibe of 1890s London. If poor fucking Jonathan Harker. I mean, he's getting, you know, drained daily here. <laughs> uh, and back home, yeah, Lucy is with three handsome men that she can, and Mina could pluck any of them, really, if she wanted to. Yep. The, uh, the Joy Cuck Club, I call these three. Ooh, Ooh, that's very good. <laughs> How long for that one? <laughs> Just waiting for it, man. <laughs> Because it's yeah, it's uh, Richard E. Grant is the is this uh, psychiatrist Doctor. who's also uh, in charge of the asylum. You got Car- Carrie Elways as her actual fiance, and then Billy Campbell as the aforementioned Texan cowboy with yes. a big knife. <laughs> oh yeah, because she's like, "Can I see your big knife?" <laughs> oh, Quincy, please let me touch it. It's so big, and then it's like it's the Bowie knife. Yeah, just let me feel the tip out. <laughs> and before that, too, when they're looking at the book or whatever. Uh, Lucy's like, oh, well, surely, Mina, Jonathan measures up, doesn't he? And she's just like, we haven't even done hand stuff. <laughs> Can you believe this? Just to be proper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're going to get married anyway. We're all going to hell, dude. Guess what? <laughs> yeah, well, 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 we could do all the Dracula shit you want. <laughs> On your deathbed, you go, um, paradise, please? Thanks. <laughs> that was bad. Can you let me in? Yeah. I'm so uh, can you sorry. let me have peace, which means the good stuff? You just do a Dan. Oh, Vakeman, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's my first time doing this. Give me that free, free pass. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like that's going on. Yeah, me, he, Keanu's getting sucked to high heaven. Oh, yeah, he is. He's, he, you know what? Like, this is why I truly hate Airbnb because you never know uh-huh. when you're going to get blow stuck. Job room? No, that's first of all, never a blowjob room <laughs> box to check on that yeah, website. No, 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 barbarian room. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you never know, you know, if you're going to get one of those Airbnbs where like the people are just up your ass the whole time. Yeah, and true. Keanu's just trying to shave, having a nice little shave in the mirror. Fucking door opens. There's Dracula with a bunch of sheets. Did you remember to take the trash out? Here's a list of chores. It's called house rules. We recycle in this castle. (laughs) The Wi-Fi password is under the trinket on the table. I'm aware the air conditioning doesn't work. (laughs) What are you going to do? The password is blood sucks. B L. Zero zero D S U X X X. Isn't that clever? Ah ah ah. <laughs> Do remember to log into your own Netflix account. <laughs> it is your responsibility to log back out of all smart TV apps before you leave. Remember that is ah 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 dot Netflix dot com. <laughs> oh man, there's all these surgery shows on my Netflix now. <laughs> A lot of bloods. Anything with the word blood in it. Do you think he could watch those and just like jack it or something? Mm-hmm. Like, oh he's man. Just, no, he's just, yeah. just get his like. It's, it's like watching. It's like watching Goodfellas for us. You get really hungry. Like, yeah. oh, that looks yeah. like. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I could be eating that. God 
damn, that looks good. Dracula could be like a Guy Fieri for that stuff, you know? <laughs> triple <B>. rolling out, <laughs> yeah. Triple B. Blood, babes, and another B. Boys. <laughs> yeah, Boys, totally. of course. I do not discriminate. They, but so, yeah, like, whatever. He winds up leaving him in the blowjob room, but his prize for the brides is one baby to eat. Oh, yeah. Sure it's is, so dude. good. Where do you man. get that baby thing? Town. Um, yep, yeah. Just ta- it's just a town baby. <laughs> like, he walked in, babies. you know, like some fucking peasant house. You know, he's like, oh, looks like the master of the house has not been wrapping it up in <laughs> sheepskin. You have... Way too many children. <laughs> I'll take one of your hands. Oh, come on. I'm going to I- adopt him. Yes. <laughs> He'll live in my house as my ward. <laughs> this is a really bad, like, when Keanu sees them, like, chowing down on this baby. He's like, <laughs> no! <laughs> They're having so- a California cheeseburger? No! <laughs> That better be just cans. I'm telling myself it's it's not just cans. It wasn't cans. <laughs> now Harkin, he, he was just consumed with love. Uh, that's, that's it. <laughs> Gary Oldman's laugh here is great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, laughing at his horror of the event. And in another, like, just a spectacular move, because why not add these transitions in as well? We introduce Iris outs and oh, Iris yeah. into oh, Iris up. out on him laughing, and then it opens back up on Mina, I think. But yeah. I was like, hot damn, one of the most cartoonish artificial transitions you could do. Brilliant. My, um, meanwhile, back at uh, uh, Richard E. Grant's uh, crazy house where <laughs> Renfield is, uh, he's starting to get ready and uh, he's going to call because Lucy's starting to get sick right around now. Uh, no, no, not yet. No, he's, he's got to. He's got to get to. Oh yeah, well, I, the, I, the part where you're introduced to Richard E. Grant, like in the sanitarium, is the scene where you do get Tom Waits eating. I think real like maggots. The or bugs. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The oh, bugs. Is, is that real? Yeah. Because that's... he puts it on his lip, and then you see it move, yeah. and he eats it. And I was like, that guy would eat a bug. Now I, I have been really championing for us since Eric bit me on the nose to get face prisons. For- mm-hmm. <laughs> We oh my do god! These boxes. Yes. Yes. Oh man! So I you, think you should definitely wear a giant box on your head, Chris. I, I need a face you, uh, prison. I bet you fucking Jim Pembry wished he had one of those. <laughs> the limbs. It's so funny to put that on the guards and not the prisoner. <laughs> but hey, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, guess if you're going into the room, yeah, if it's just like it. you're in there for two two minutes or something. Yeah. But Richard E. Grant is like too much of a badass, yeah. Doctor Seward. He doesn't wear one. He says, "Oh, I have to." Con- I'll have to con- create a new term of lunatic for you, Mr. Redfield. <laughs> it would just be funny if every scene after this, Richard E. Grant has increasing amounts of bites all over his face <laughs> and neck. Yeah. Just little marks everywhere. <laughs> it's, not, it's nothing much at all. It's no bother. When Dracula breaks up uh, that Keanu four-way, too, that's like... A real paranormal cock block, dude, because that door flies open. He's literally flying and yeah, screaming oh yeah. right there. And he's there. throwing ladies uh, on the wall, <laughs> and they're just standing on the wall sideways. It's awesome. But yeah. then he stays there for like three more weeks. Like, what? You know what? Tomorrow I'm leaving. I'm I'm making a plan to leave the blowjob room. Yeah, I'm, he's, I am. I, I I said it. I mean it. Look, he's I edging. thought an eternity of free blowjobs was going to be great. But I'll tell you right now, diary. <laughs> After the 500th blowjob, all right, it's still pretty great. But after the 600th free blowjob, I need to go home. I've got nothing left. There's nothing left down there. My dick is raw. (laughs) He has some line about, like, all of these, like, Draculia security guards keep blocking the exit of the castle. That's an inconvenient thing. (laughs) Not great. And, of course, we're starting to see all the dirt collecting starting. Of course, dirt harvest. Yes, with his loyal, evil army of Romani. These are the the bodyguards. And um, so, yeah, they, you know, and then this is just the classic Dracula tale. He gets ready for his big commute west, you know, Mm -hmm. and like uh, in true epistolary fashion. Now it's like we get to hear from the captain's log of the Demeter and you have. Anthony Hopkins, because he had a free afternoon. He'll just do doing it. that. I mean, your point about how theatrical this yeah. all is, I mean, it just plays into that. Yeah. 
I I really like that choice. Yeah, I think no, it's pretty cool. that he keeps coming back. Yeah, and it, it, it yeah. just and it, it also he's got a great voice and he's just telling the story of obviously the ship that you know on this night this guy went missing. Oh my god! And you're, you're just seeing like these quick cuts like the fucking the blood hitting the sail. Yes, which is oh, it's good. all of that's awesome because yeah. I feel I think Van Helsing himself is not introduced until like fifty seven oh, yeah. minutes. It's, in. A while. it's a while. Yeah. Uh, now, Francis, how about if uh, I also played Lucy? <laughs> but I think Dracula had some, <laughs> that'd be fucking hot, dude. Dracula had some sort of Geek Squad cameras put in Lucy's house because he's watching what's happening. He's astral projecting over there. He's like checking out the parties and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, you want to do a little research about the town sure. you're moving to. Yeah. You know, I it, would do that all the right. If you could just watch any, oh, you'd be a watcher. Oh, dude, don't worry oh, about fuck, it. Fuck, dude, you'd be watching. <laughs> Renfield, can you get me a Zagat or something so I know where to go? <laughs> oh, no. I got in my box of dirt before consulting TripAdvisor. <laughs> Should I go to Mike's Pub or Adolf's Pub? <laughs> yeah, sh- sure. It got four stars on Yelp, but who really uses that anymore? What does that even mean? <laughs> oh, no. It is my greatest enemy. Captain Obvious of Hotels.com. <laughs> this reminds me of several decades ago when I did battle with the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> who was that man who used to do the commercials for kayak? I hear he has a demonic energy as well. <laughs> Uh, but this is when oh, Kevin Spacey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. did he really? He did kayak commercials. Yeah, yeah. that's Ooh. awesome. Good for him. <laughs> um, Just kidding. But yeah, he's watching like Lucy and Mina, and then he co- causes a sexy storm to happen. Ooh, it's yeah. just like, yes. Dude, yes, I spray you and your friend with hose, Ooh. and then your outfits are wet, <laughs> and you're just gonna start <laughs> kissing because uh-huh, sure. you're so. Fucking horny, yep. and it horny. started raining, and that made you hornier for some reason. Oh yeah, horny in the Whoa. rain. We're having horny a wet in the rain. <laughs> We're having a wet negligee contest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice! Fucking Dracula invented that because he's so evil. <laughs> what do we say? Is it Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Buffalo Vampire Wings, <laughs> the wet negligee contest. We are all out of lemon pepper. <laughs> oh, look at that. Someone's having fun at Happy Hour riding Mechanical Werewolf. <laughs> oh, you Shit. want a, our famous blood wings. Do you want it O positive? What do we A positive? What do we want here? Two dollar upcharge for B negative. <laughs> Shit, that's uh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> the uh you get the first glimpse of him as this like werewolf creature. Here. Yes. I fucking love it. It's yeah. so great. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's like this ape man that's fucking Lucy on this rock. Right? Is that oh, the part? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's pretty wild, and she's very naked. And Oh, yeah. They're going to town. And, and then <laughs> fucking, you know, Mina's watching in the garden. It's all. He's the- just, no, don't see me. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger yes. wish he had this power. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> right, yeah. When the, when the wife walked in, when he was stooping the maid. Exactly. Like, yeah. But it's like. I I appreciate the choreography of this sex scene because like it's not just like they have a werewolf like on top of her or no. whatever. It's like the werewolf's arm is under the small of her back and yeah. he's lifting up the pelvis for like ample fuck <laughs> angles here. Like this definitely, werewolf knows how to get laid. Definitely a smoothie, <laughs> that guy. Uh but yeah, I do love the no, oh, don't look at me. It's, uh, the, it's just the wind. Oh no, it wasn't anybody, it was just the wind. <laughs> don't see me. Isn't that great? Magic would be awesome. Magic would, would be awesome. Love magic. <laughs> right? Like if if I could do magic, oh, wouldn't yeah. that be fun for Well, everyone? yeah, if you could be the one doing magic, but yes. I don't necessarily oh, I don't think anyone else should have that power. I, I don't necessarily think the werewolf should have a top hat and a wand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Well, but wait, so so like I'd get a top hat, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but I'm just curious, like your style, right? Are sure, we talking sure. like wizard shit or like where'd that quarter go? 
<laughs> you know what fucking Dracula doesn't wear that quarter goes later on where he's just like, what's that behind your ears, Mina? Oh, it's a couple of diamonds. Oh, right. Yes. Someone was a both. very good girl for the diamond fairy. Oh, I turned her tears into diamond. All the vampire trick to get laid. <laughs> but remember to put your blood under the pillow tonight. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now Lucy has been bitten and this is when she starts kind of going crazy she accepts uh carol was his proposal she's wearing some crazy wedding dress and she starts to faint and like get wackadoo looking like <laughs> shit like immediately city frost is good in this she kind of didn't she have is. a huge career after this no mm-hmm. but she I, that's what i was kind of surprised about yes. she is really good in this movie she is in a movie i watched way too many times uh the rick moranis starring splitting airs not at all with Ooh. eric idol what is this what it, world he's so it's they're like Long lost brothers. It's like kind of like King Ralph. Like, but, but this only came out in Transylvania, right? No, no, this was America. Really? This, this came out in wide release. It's like one of them, like Rick Moranis, is uh, thought to be the new king of England. Like, he was long lost prince or something like that. Okay. But it actually turns out Eric Idle was. Uh-huh. And they're like, know each other. I and guess they're friends. that makes sense because one of them is British. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and Catherine Zeta Jones is like, I think one of, is like the love interest for Rick oh. Moranis. Oh. What year did this come out? It's like 96. Yes. Really? Wow. Well, so this is what made him retire. Pretty yeah. Probably. <laughs> it was, bef- I think it's before Big Bully though. So is he just playing like a guy from Sheboygan? Yeah, he's. Yeah. I don't think he's British. I would hope not. Trying to get that gentle Canadian with that voice of his doing a British accent. Well, or the, it didn't work with Keanu. So. <laughs> no, it, it certainly didn't after that blue inferno. 1993. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, Actually, the year after this movie. Written that we're. Ta- I'm talking about splitting airs now, right? So Eric Idle, who also wrote the movie. Oh, so that's yikes. how you know it's good. <laughs> yes, and you are right about Catherine Zeta-Jones. And of oh course, God. you couldn't keep John Cleese away from this of thing. Of course. No, so. no. He'll mooch off a friend. Don't worry about it. Uh, but whatever. So like now Lucy is fully infected, and Richard E. Grant is cold on the trail of Dracula here. Mm. He just can't figure out what's going on with this gal, mainly because I don't think he's ever heard of Nosferatu. Before. Sure. Yeah, I that- I, I'm going to say it. I believe she has horniness. <laughs> believe she is uh, just hot under the collar. Oh. And then she's like, oh, kiss me. He's like, absolutely. And I'm like, dude, you shouldn't yep. be her doctor. Yeah, no. Oh, Jack, kiss me. Uh... <laughs> I'm Dr. Makeout. I'm I'm here to service you. Oh, that's Dr. Tongue, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so Richard E. Grant is like, um, and by the way, Richard E. Grant, fucking fabulous actor. Oh, of course. Yeah. Fabulous yeah. actor, fabulous person. Um, you know what? It, it did give me flashbacks of how bad Rise of Skywalker was. Well, he would have sure. been so good in that. Sure would have. He would have been good in that. Sure would have. Isn't that anyway, frustrating? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think about that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Even for a second, you get mad. <laughs> yeah. You get pissed, man. We just brought it up the other day because we were doing the Chewy episode, and yep. I, now I'm two days in a row, guys. We got to yeah. stop. <laughs> that is right. Full episode Chewbacca on Patreon, patreon.com slash we ate movies. We're talking to the legend himself, Chewbacca. I believe right. he also has to sleep in uh, dirt from his home planet. It, yeah. That's true. It's it's very true. similar. There's much more uh, uh, shit mixed into his, though, than Dracula. And I, Han was like his Renfield. I do like this weird, like, sack that Dracula's in to, like, rejuvenate yeah, himself. The yeah, 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 it's pretty cool. It's very cool. I love how weird this movie is. That's the biggest strength about it. Well, yeah. that's, I mean, because so few, uh, all of them relied on, like, the eeriness of the atmosphere before. Yeah. yeah. This is the first one where, like, Dracula is genuinely discombobulating. Like, yeah. a, a, he, he sets everybody off differently. And the fact that they do all these different kinds of Draculas, I mean, it's, it's a more convincing show of his power yeah. than, like, just being yeah. like, Oh, there's a bat. A the bat right, went up exactly. there. I mean, all the eerie shit, like the I, we talked about it briefly, probably, but like all the shadow play that's yep. going on yeah. is just gorgeous, amazing. This, looking. That, that one scene where Keanu opens up like a perfume or something and it goes upside down, like oh yeah. And again, there's no reason for it. it we don't need like really clear Dracula rules. We have an idea of what those are, but like. Just the fact that it's so ill-defined yeah. actually is a strength that I know that, yeah. you know, maybe sometimes we say it the other way around. But, like, in the hands of Francis Ford Coppola, it's, you, they know what's going on. I think you know, I read yeah. something that, like, Coppola, maybe it was in the trivia or something, that um, 
when you're near a supernatural being like Dracula, like physics just changes. And right. that's a cool concept. Yeah, it really. I mean, you know, one of the things we can talk about uh, back when when he gets a ride from Sauron. Yes. Uh, when when Dracula like beckons him to the cart, he like moves his, you know, like, you know, come hither or whatever. And Ke- they put Keanu on like a rolling platform. And yeah. he just kind of sails. Yes. He doesn't walk. He just sails right. to the carriage. And yeah. that happens a couple times in this movie where, like, a character is, like, walking or something and then just smoothly glides across the floor. And it's fucking great. It would be fun if uh, if Coppola cribbed, like, a Spike Lee and just just yes. forward through the floor. <laughs> So in this part of Inside Man, Denzel's near a vampire. <laughs> Keanu's come through the castle. Mm. <laughs> Man, the only time Spike dabbled in horror, it was not good. I don't mind that movie, but Sweet yeah, Sweet Blood of Jesus, def- definitely <sighs> low on the list. Oh, I, I have not uh, seen, no, it. seen that one. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not awful, yeah. but like, eh, go watch Ganja. In the house. Yeah, yeah, just I mean, it's please. not for everybody. Yeah, um, yeah. So like, Lucy is now very sick. Um, they find the neck bites. Yes, which is a cool transition here too, because it's like he zooms in on the two neck holes, like it's the shower drain yeah. in, in Psycho. And then they turn the tr- another great cool dissolve into wolf eyes. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh man, Ooh, creeping me right out. <laughs> and because like not only did Dracula go for the one, he's just kind of keep coming back. Yep, can't Dr- quit it. He's he, I did I hit it, but I will not quit it. <laughs> I can't quit you. <laughs> <laughs> I must hit and hit and hit. Um, Richard E. Grant is hopped up on morphine now, yeah. too. Of course. I mean, at the time, well, I guess you, you have know, to it's be. It's like having a Coke. <laughs> but I'm a doctor, aren't I? <laughs> uh, this is what this is around the time Van Helsing finally, because, you know, uh, Richard E. Grant has got his head against the wall, doesn't know what's going on. He's like, oh, uh, don't worry about it, Carrie Elways, uh, Lord Autumn Bottom, or whatever yeah. his name is in this movie. Uh, uh, I've called he's like Richard E. Grant's character is such a fucking nerd, dude. He's like, don't worry. I called my favorite teacher from school and oh, he's going to come and help us with this problem. And I was <laughs> all I could think about was fucking Uncle Leo. Like your cousin Jeffrey is friends with his old college professors. <laughs> where does where does this friend of yours come from? German France. <laughs> and we get to see Hopkins. great German France. <laughs> of course. Please. Of course. Hopkins at this like lecture type of thing it reminded me briefly of Elephant Man a little bit. But, no, definitely because he's right? he's sure. in like a medical lecture teaching hall, auditorium yeah. in that yeah. movie too. And then his great line about like syphilis civilization kind of both came up together. Am I right, crowd? <laughs> And they do that thing which people should bring back where you just knock on the table in, in, yes. in yes. a scent. Knocking on the table I would like to bring back. You know what needs to be locked in a vault and put away for all time? What's that? Snapping in place of applause. No, Wait, no. people snap and oh, well, You yeah. haven't seen this? Where Dude, would I see this? Anywhere. Really? Just people... Do just snapping fucking fingers. Wait, wait, am I at a coffee shop in 1957? Yeah, exactly. and that's what we do. You know why we're seeing it actually closing night of the New York Film Festival? We're oh, watching, shut up. No. Watching uh, the intro to the inspection is going on. And like these people next to me, every time Eugene Hernandez said a, like a cool thing in the intro or whatever, a positive thing, of, you know, in the intro. These people were just snapping their fingers. That is it. so weird. How I, do you just get to look at these? Yeah, younger than me. What the fuck? This is like a this is one of those TikTok dominoes things. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, it's always I'm, a TikTok I'm thing. an old man. <laughs> well, they had to rest their wrists, okay? I, they were just I Oh, because of beating off to me. Yeah, of course. I do when, not understand your TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand is it still no not November? <laughs> okay. I sway my hips this way and this way, and then I do the roundabout. Watch me floss. Old, 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 old. <laughs> All right, kids at home, we're just joking around. We think that's the best thing ever. It's so good. I just think if you're in a room with like 1,200 people and they're all applauding, yeah. maybe don't snap your fingers. Unless uh, Allen Ginsberg is in, in attendance as sure. well. Sure. Or I, David like Cross not. playing Allen Ginsberg. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, if John Coltrane's really blowing that night, you go right ahead and do it. <laughs> But if it happens to be after 1978, then maybe you don't want to do that. It's just a bizarre thing. It's just, I mean, like, if you're listening, you look so stupid. <laughs> uh, you know, it's going to be everywhere soon, and people are going to be like, look at this clip from We Hate Movies. They didn't know snapping is the new clapping, and it's going to be the whole... Uh, <laughs> you win, all right? 
I'm dead already. <laughs> I like Someone's listening to this, and I'm dead already. That's You're true. undead, dude. Yeah. That's, yes. you know, a little yeah. bit of Back a difference from it. There. I like That's these right. um, uh, Van Helsing cable scars he's got in his eyes. Like, yep. un, yeah. un, undescribed, just they're there. That is a previous vampire adventure, dude. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I also appreciate, and I don't know if the book does this, but I appreciate in this movie, we don't do a lot of like, yes, I come from a long line of yeah, vampire no, no. hunters. No, he's just Thank like, no, he just knows what's up. He's a fucking weirdo who found one weird book one time and became an expert on it. And he's almost always on drugs. It seems. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't tell what exactly what medieval meth he's dug up, <laughs> but uh, uh, it, it, it's quite a performance that Mr. Hopkins is laying down here. <laughs> um, while this is going on, uh, Mina is kind of like dating uh, Dracula, yeah. sort of like oh, she runs into him in the street. A little meet cute here from Dracula. Oh, right. Absolutely. And dude, he keeps fucking failing it. <laughs> Totally. He, to, he keeps resetting it. Which my way God. to the cinematic? Oh, yeah. no, you hate my guts. Oh, jeez. And then he's like, he reappears around the corner after she walks away. Yep. He's just like, <laughs> can't escape me. Hello, I'm, my lady. I'm wearing her down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, your, your husband, your fiance, he wants to buy you flowers, but I want to talk for hours. <laughs> and take your flower, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> what do they do in America? I, I buy you a piece of hot cow with potatoes. <laughs> is that because of her accent? I mean, we're in England. Yeah. You said America. Uh, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> but it's Winona Ryder, so what the fuck? It's kind of great. Dracula uh, really impressed with the cinematograph technology. Sure. Yeah, Mina yeah. not having it. Like, he's like, wow, look at that. That was so funny and thrilling. I couldn't. I thought train was going to come through screen. <laughs> if you want culture, visit a museum. Yeah, yeah, dude. She's just like, fuck you and your new artistic <laughs> medium vampire. You Eastern European slab. Yeah, you fucking rube. I already saw the train movie, <laughs> asshole. Oh, it's going to come through the screen. <laughs> I have crossed. What does he say? I have crossed oceans of time to find you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Which, if you believe him, that was the li- Gary Oldman was like, that line sold me on making the movie because I wanted to say that to somebody in a movie. It's, it's a, a pretty co- good line. It's a cool line. Yeah. I, I really do. And this it. performance, yeah, especially now when he's a cool Dracula. You know what I mean? And again, we're not doing the widow's peak. He's got this long hair, these purple sunglasses, like silver suit right. with the top hat. Yeah. They and did shave his fucking cool. uh, hairline, though, a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. They, they moved it back yeah. a little. That's Not weird. Widow's Peak, but yeah. they, like, recessed it a scotch. Oh, that's what I'm doing, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yeah, planned. I'm, I'm doing that at the back of my head. This is for vampire things. <laughs> Well, no, Francis Ford Coppola wants it this way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, he's looking like he's playing synths in Oasis. Um, and she, like, she starts crying and... What's cheers. the story, Morning Glory? <laughs> oh, you are so beautiful. I want to shower you in some kind of champagne supernova. <laughs> but remember, don't look back in anger. <laughs> Tonight I am a rock and roll star. <laughs> Uh, that's it. That's all the songs they did. We don't have any more. We're done. <laughs> that's it. I can't oh, question no. for you, Mr. Van Helsing, son of bitch. Where were you while we were getting high? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> we uh, played that song a lot at multiple like sixth grade dances. Sure. I oh, and I remember even then I was like, where were you while we were getting high? Well, this shouldn't be at the <laughs> school. Yeah, this function. must be about their trip to the Empire State Building. <laughs> that would throw me off. Where were you while we were eating pie? <laughs> Dude, all we right. We were eating pie. Well, this Mr. Uh, like, uh, Daniel Radcliffe over here in person. I think you weird all you had to <laughs> I wish I had the hair. Um, but yeah, so when Ben Helsing arrives... Um, you know, he just he he is ready to go. He gets right in, like, show me what's going on with the girl. Like, let's go. She immediately uh needs a blood transfusion, he says. So, like, he starts getting this contraption together. Doesn't to matter transfusion. what type of blood. It oh, just, you're the fiance, yeah. Pump, pump, pump it in you. there. Yeah, it'll be fine. The the creepiest part or the most disturbing thing, 
are these teeth that are coming out through the gums that we see a yes, couple times? I love yep. that. He looks at it right out, man. He looks at it. Yeah, Anthony Hopkins. It's like oh, the little Nosferatuing over here by the gum line. Oh, yeah, that's fine. No, it's we'll a medical it term. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at you. you! Got a couple of budding Nosferatus there. <laughs> got the uh, Nosferatu tooth. I see. <laughs> it's like when uh, I take my dog to the vet for her yearly checkup, you know, and the doctor like. Lifts her fucking lips up yeah. to look at the teeth, just like, oh, there's some fine teeth on this hound you got here. Uh, and he's like, Where have I seen this before? Oh, yeah, that enormous book I carry around with me that says <laughs> Vampire on it. <laughs> you know, I knew I, I brought that fucking 30 pound book for a reason. <laughs> you know, they always tell me, Don't bring it in your bag because I'm gonna have to carry it anywhere. But guess what? Now I have a use for it. They always make fun of me. They say, <laughs> Hey, are there rocks in this box? I'm like, No, it's one book. <laughs> My vampire book. Leave me alone. Very important. My little black vampire book. <laughs> Sorry, my enormous wooden vampire book. Um, <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, this, instead of the stabbing the adrenaline to the heart, it would be a stain. Oh, there you go. Which we don't do in this movie. Anything will do. We're using actual st- like knives, metal stakes, swords. knives for sure. Yep. Just get it through sense. the heart. That's yeah. all, you know, fine uh, by me. Yeah. And he's just, there's this great, I, it's so, he's. Just so weird to all these dudes. Like he's just—he knows that the, he needs these dudes, but he's like, "I'm your leader now, dudes." Because he also knows. Come along, dudes. All right, dudes, form a line. <laughs> because he knows he's like, "Oh, I see immediately what's going on here." All oh, Professor Van Helsing's seen this before. Three dudes trying to bang <laughs> one chick. Got yeah. it. Ah, yes, say a Texan dude, an English <laughs> dude, and my pupil. Also a dude. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor <Doctored> dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. I would watch Doctor Dude, okay? Right? I think that's that was the fucking alternative title for Scrubs. <laughs> oh, it's Dr. You're dude. right. You're right. You're right. Uh, but yeah, all the, all speaking of the dudes, by the way, all three dudes have to get down on this blood transfusion because yes. afterwards they're all walking out holding their arms like Jesus, she had no blood in her. <laughs> it's uh, <so> good, <laughs> and then she dies instantly because of this oh, yeah. botched transfusion. <laughs> <laughs> dead, but not dead, he says. Mm. I, I mean, I, I don't know why you're doing all of this. We we have to cut off the head. Yeah. This glass tomb and everything. It's just a waste of money, Mr. Oh, her Ellis. fucking lemon casket? Yes. Yeah, that's it's pretty It's cool. Great. It looks cool. Then, and yeah. When she finally dies, my favorite line of the movie, I think he goes up to, uh, he goes up to Carrie Elway. He's like, I would like, a, I need to invest it. I, I need to be alone with the body. And uh, and Elway's like, oh, doctor, do you think a, 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 an autopsy must happen? Like, no, I'm just going to stab her on the heart and cut her head off. And it's just like the way he says it <laughs> yep. is so fucking funny. It's yes. just it's so matter of fact. Yes. And like Elway's is like, what, what, what? Yeah. Which what? is what every <laughs> autopsy should be. Mm-hmm. We should be making sure. Well, that's in, oh, that's in my my will. It's like you got to remove the head from the body just to be sure. Just yes. to be sure. Absolutely. Yep. And then stab I- that heart up. Mm-hmm. You lived your life as a vampire. You should die as one. Exactly. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, too. I mean, you never know what's going to go on. Chemical weaponry, nukes, whatever. That's sure. true. You know, if I, you know, that's true. decades and decades and decades from now when I pass away. Take my brain out of my noodle, man, because just in case of a zombie apocalypse, yes. I don't want to rise from the grave. Nope. No, thank we you. already yeah. have that brain destroyed. Are That's dangerously close to developing the zombie bomb. Any day now. It will happen. Zom Any day bomb. now. Zombie <laughs> bomb. Yes. Dude, I'm making bombies. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what Hungary's up to these days. Yeah. I think that's where up there. Oh doing. yeah, that's what that this guy's up to. This bomb better work, nerd. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, uh, Dracula's treating uh, Mina Parker to some fucking sick absinthe bra. Dude, oh, dude the yeah. green fairy. Oh, you ready to catch the dude? Dude, old-fashioned way of making this. He's got the little sugar cube and whatnot. Love oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm going to do a magic trick, and he does the thing with the tear, and it turns into a bunch of diamonds. And I imagine Mina is just like, go buy a lot of onions. <laughs> just buy a, bu- a bag and a knife. We need a knife as well. She's like, oh, dude, I'm so stoked. I can't believe it. <laughs> is that really diamonds or what, dude? <laughs> Shit. Maybe the good kind? The really good kind? <laughs> oh, no, she's too wasted. Man, this sucks. I don't have the heart to tell her it's cubic zirconium. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, at, at some point around here, Dracula, like, attacks the house here. Yeah. And 
Because like all all the dudes are like laying watch or whatever. Carrie always is wasted, and so like Dracula sort of like pushes him out of the way. There's some other. There's another guy who's not an official member of the dudes. Uh huh. But like Dracula's running up the stairs, and you get a look at this guy. He shoves this guy like across the room, hmm. and he's dressed exactly like Sherlock Holmes. Like this guy just <laughs> looks like Sherlock Holmes, and Dracula throws him Beat across it, the room. Nerd. <laughs> oh, that's Detective Dude. <laughs> Yeah, he was just like right on the outer ring of dudes. There's firefighter dude as oh, well. Sure. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Farmer dude, he's like the lowest on yeah, the ladder. Scuba dude is hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have scuba stuff yet? That's a good question. Fisher probably. dude. Then. Fisher yeah, dude. Fisher yeah. dude. While this is all happening, is the weird like? Uh, so Mina has rushed to Romania. She gets word from a nunnery uh, that. Keanu escaped emerged and, from the blowjob room yeah finally got out of there you know with fucking pud in hand <laughs> and makes his way to this this nunnery where they're like taking care of him and uh, like Winona Ryder is just like well all right get in this fucking train or whatever I'm gonna go to Romania tonight or whatever so while this is going on we're cutting to Romania where they are getting married uh in in this in this convent and apparently did you see the trivia about this they they it was like some reshoot later they were like why don't you have them, you know, shoot the scene, shoot the scene of them getting married? So they go to do it, and uh, they had this like Greek Orthodox priest that was doing the ceremony, and the guy actually did a Greek wedding ceremony, like a Greek Orthodox wedding ceremony. And so, in like the eyes of God, if you want to call it whatever, like uh-huh. Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder are married, but just Greek God, <laughs> just so. yeah, just saw, just saw the Greek God, so, so when, Zeus only, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's Greek Orthodox. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but um, it's the trivia says that like when they text each other or whatever, like Winona Ryder will text him jokingly, like "Hi, my husband." Or That's you know, funny. it's kind of funny. That's cute. Wait, that we're cute. what? <laughs> <laughs> kind of a plot for a movie that they would both be in, like that uh, wedding guest movie? destination wedding. Oh, Destiny. what is the, well, now? What is this? It's just I don't know what this. It's is. just the two of them, and they're at a destination wedding, and like. The, it's all just seeds of them talking. What year is this from? Five years ago, maybe? Four yeah, years ago? Maybe. Something yeah, yeah. like that. Ooh, there's there's that. literally no other characters. Guess, Everyone else is just like in the background. I was yeah. too busy at the lake house. <laughs> <laughs> With Sandy. <laughs> Whatever else. Well, yeah, I mean, she had done Black Swan and he had done John Wick and they were like, maybe they're popular again. Yeah. Oh, just him. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, she's got Stranger Things. She, oh, yeah. yeah, I guess she Yeah, is. and that movie was... Post the start yes. of Stranger yeah. Things, yeah. so and it was, it's not good. Um, no, but I will say the two of them have chemistry. Sure, y- using yeah. the real voices really helps. <laughs> um, and it was cool seeing them in a movie, but it does suck. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, not a very good movie. movie. Um, so Lucy's dead. Lucy's now dead. This is you know Anthony Hopkins wants to cut her head off, and he convinces everyone to go to the crypt. You know, look, we're just gonna go there tonight. Bring your knives. You're gonna need them. Yep. And they're like, well, what's going on here? Something like they want to know, like, what he's up to. And uh, <laughs> like, he's just like, oh, oh, I think it's Carrie always like, why do we have to dig her up? What was she buried alive? And he's like, ah, well, not alive, but also not dead. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> just wait till we get there. <laughs> just pull this open, will you? Uh, but she's not there. She bring yet another kid in peril in this movie, man. Yeah, she yep. went out to go get food. Like she walked down the street to get go to the Seven Eleven and pick up a child. Fuck it. I go out for two seconds to grab a bite, and when I come back, all these dudes are in my crib. <laughs> oh, they're serving baby taquitos now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> dudes fapping to you from beyond the grave like i can't even die these dudes are fucking still bothering me god damn i'm not gonna fuck any of you okay i'm dead oh that's what i get for leading you on in life now you stalk <laughs> me in death well the dead can fuck right the dead so, can't yes. fuck. Yeah. dracula does it she's about well, to kill that that jim jarmusch movie <laughs> yes okay. yes 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 speaking of not that great movies no, no. it's okay I, I like that movie. which but- one the dead don't die. Oh, I liked that movie. I didn't still didn't see it. I heard mixed enough things. Like, yeah, I'm all right. Um, I mean, it's like if you take a zombie comedy and like put it through Jim Jarmusch's incredible deadpan, sure, everything. <laughs> that's why it didn't work yeah. for people because it's just it's a slow, stilted, yeah, zombie comedy. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I had fun with it. Sure, totally tanked though. 
Uh, but uh, she gets her head cut off, which is fun. It's a great, this whole thing's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I like, they do a cool camera effect here where like, um, you see her sort of eerily climb back in her coffin. Yeah. And that's all just like reversed film, which was cool. You know, just it makes it look all the more unnatural. Awesome. Her like yeah. getting back, you know. Now, wait, now I cut off the head. Come on. No, let me say goodbye. No, I want to cut off the head. <laughs> and it's great, too. We cut off that head and there's a smash cut to Anthony Hopkins cutting this roast in yes. the bar. It's like, eat up, bars. We got another vampire to kill. Yeah, you're going to need your strength, dudes. I'm going to want another <laughs> rare rabbit here. Yeah. Some sausages. Dude, it looked pretty good, whatever meat this was. And he's drinking like a dark ale. Not too shabby. He no, chugs man. this, too. Hopkins yeah. just puts this mug of beer right down. It's great. And like, yeah, this is when he's like, and he he wants, he's like, listen, I've got three dudes already, Keanu. I need another dude here. I need a, I need kind of a doofy dude, a real estate dude. Do you have a doofus? A <laughs> doofus. Oh, at your service. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go, you dumb, dumb idiot. Jonathan Harker, dude fist for hire. Absolutely. <laughs> Army of dudes, man. The council of dudes. Doesn't help that you're pretty. Uh, he also has gray hair here now Because he's been sucked fucking dry man. Absolutely dude We fucking sucked the color right out of this dude's hair <laughs> That's beyond sucking a golf ball Through a garden hose <laughs> Sucking the chrome off a trailer right. and Sucking the fucking color out of a so guy's hair All the pigment came out of his hair And went out of his dick So yes. it was like black cum or something right? It's definitely taking a darker pallor That's for sure Right yeah Because that's a lot of essence right there Oh yeah it's thick too <laughs> Pure life force man uh, So they want to Kill Dracula, you know, well, like, they do. sort of a yes. baby, right? Like yeah. it, not just blood, living blood, but like semen. Like that's like a new life, kind of. I bet vampires love lives. it. So many new lives, wouldn't yeah. they? Would think. I mean, they, they, I, they, they wouldn't say no. They would not say no. No, no that's true. Right. There is like he does give Keanu a little bit of a job interview here because he's like, uh, all right, well, I suppose, Jonathan, you can join my dude army. Your blood test came back and everything's a okay. Because he asked, him, he asked him like, "Now uh, listen, when you were in the blowjob room, uh, did Count Dracula make you drink his blood? You drink any of those babes' blood?" And he's like, "No, I've never tasted blood." And he's like, "All right, clean bill of health. You yes. can join the team. Good enough for me. You could be lying your ass off. But <laughs> Guess we'll find out there on the road." Now let me ask you: Would you be okay with me cutting Mina's head off? Because <laughs> that is what I want to do. I mean, look at this. Dracula was not that bad of a host. You you got the blowjob room. You didn't get turned into a vampire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's hitting on your wife aggressively. But... Sure, <laughs> he gave me a whole chicken. Whole yeah, chicken. Whole chi a fucking free free month room and board. Come on, I gave you a whole chicken and you spat in my he, face he even shaved you you didn't ask for it but he did it he even cut under your nipple a little a and little bit oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that yeah. shit yeah. slop we didn't mention it but gary oldman fucking tonguing that straight razor Ooh. is one of the most unsettling yeah. shots in the movie it's hot and apparently if the trivia is be to believe if the trivia is to be believed he was like wasted when they shot that scene. It was very late at night. He was just like, Gary the blah, yeah, lick it. Oh, Gary Oldman American. wasted? I won't. <laughs> Apparently he's been sober for a very long time. I, I know. Until Mank, where he did it, you know, for real. <laughs> method. What? Uh, method for Mank. <laughs> Remember Mank, everyone? Uh, Come no. on. I saw it, and then I really haven't thought about it much since then. All the, all the iconic characters. Winston Churchill, Dracula, <laughs> Mank, <laughs> Sirius Black, Mank, Sid Vicious, Mank. <laughs> the, the bad police from Professional. That's right. <laughs> That's, yeah, I forget his name, but whatever. Mank. <laughs> Mank is the only real evil left. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That fucking flat ass digital filmmaker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like they, the idea of like, all right, we want Mina to be safe. The safest place for her is this fucking creaky, creepy old insane asylum. Of course. Like, can we get a hotel? Well, no. I mean, <laughs> I see your point. Sure. But also, like, think of like, just we're playing werewolf rules here, man. You know what I mean? Like, lock her in a cage, sure. and then, like, nothing can get in, nothing yeah. can get out. Okay. Yeah. Also, you wouldn't be getting a hotel. You'd be getting an inn at the yeah, time. Yeah, that's a good point. Steven. And also, you want to keep her right close to the morphine, your two loves. 
right there <laughs> beside each other. You gotta, you gotta imagine too, like Dracula is kind of like, oh, the insane asylum. What? I don't want to feed at the booby hatch. But if you're at like the nice inn, dude, yeah. he's coming right for your room. I feel like, it, it's like oh, if I have to go, they have to talk to Renfield. Yuck. Oh, I talk to Renfield. I have to then free yeah. these boobies from the hatch before I can <laughs> seize them. It's a lot of blood, but it feels wrong to be sucking the blood of those people. It feels uh, ill advised. I don't think so. But this is great because Redfield is the whole movie. Master this, master that. He sees Winona Ryder. He's like, you know what, dude? The master's evil. You're a P- <laughs> <laughs> He's yep. just like, yep. he just turns on a dime for yeah. a 1992 Winona Ryder. It's all it took was to gaze upon Winona, dude. And then you were like, fuck this. I've been eating <laughs> bugs. I've been shitting my pants, probably just yelling master all day. You know what? He's never coming for me. He's never going to turn me. <laughs> fuck that dude. He's trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. And then like around here too is a great, it's a weird, like they sort of set it up. Like she is going there for protection, but then she immediately goes home because there's two scenes back to back of Dracula hot boxing rooms (laughs) because it's like, we cut to Tom Waits and he's alone in the cell. And then all of a sudden, like, the cell gets this green smoke yeah. in it. Like, oh man! Oh man! It looks like Danzig's about to take the stage. <laughs> and then, it looks cool. It looks like Jabba the Hutt farted. <laughs> Which looks cool. Yeah, I, I like it. I like the green mist. Eddie makes Renfield run against the wall three times until he's dead. But no, she's actually in the insane asylum, like in another room. Like, Is it a bedroom? Though? Yes, there's like she's a in bedroom. Grant's of- office. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. That. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because Dracula starts hot boxing that room yeah. too, yeah, yeah. and that's what. They start fucking. It's like, let's do it, man. Miss sex. And she's way into it. She's like, I totally want to be a vampire. I was like, no, you couldn't. You wouldn't. Want. She's like, of course, it's awesome. What are you talking about? And then he's. Kinda- I can't turn to mist. I'd like to one day. Well, maybe it's a little cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool for like the first 300 years. Okay. Let me just. I have to ask you this. Are that. There- are they still delivering messages with arrows? <laughs> if they are, I'm not doing I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mina. I cannot do it. No, yeah. we have a thing called the post now. Oh, well, fuck it. Here we go. Yes, I couldn't possibly give you eternal life, eternal strength, cool, cool powers, and sexiness <laughs> beyond. I would never do that to you, my sweet, sweet Mina. Because he knows, dude, he's been at it for half a century, and or uh, uh, half a millennium, rather, and... He's like, no, like this fucking sucks. It's like I saw past the sticker price. I saw past the glitz and the glam. Mm -hmm. I'm this old dude jerking off in a fucking collapsing castle. My hands are palmy. But you know what, dude? What's you know what this guy doesn't see coming? Indoor plumbing, television, (laughs) rock and roll. Well, yeah, it's going to get good, dude. (laughs) Stick around. Plumbing is still a bucket based system at the time, I believe. But I don't know about that. (laughs) Was it still bucket based? I think it's still bucket based. It it, it looks like the late 19th century. You wouldn't want to be a vampire. Okay, listen how bad it is. Yes, I can go outside. It's fine. I just, <laughs> I just feel a little weaker, not too much. Yeah, me too. It's called fucking long COVID. <laughs> Dracula, you fucking baby. Ooh, I'm tired outside. Yeah, you want to be, yeah, if you're Dracula, you want to hang it up around like 2007, 2000, 2012. You know what I mean? Just yeah, really start right. hanging it up then. Well, you know what? Nine eleven. Get out before nine eleven. Yeah, that's a good move. Get out on nine eleven. <laughs> when Do those something towers went down, I put a stake through my own yeah. heart. Oh, I'll uh, take a one way ticket to the Pentagon, please. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to legitimize all the nut jobs, but Y two K would have been a nice time to just you know get out of there. But then yeah, you yeah, got a thousand lever. years again. You're fucking. You, you, you see the doors live. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, Lots miss of cool me with that costume. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, come on, now touch me, baby. <laughs> you yeah. know what, yes, I'm going to walk out into the sun tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Which but, doesn't do anything, by the way. Yeah, it doesn't. He breaks into full bat mode right here because yes. like, the council of dudes fucking break in like, yeah. hey, stop fucking my <laughs> wife. <laughs> and then he turns into this huge fucking bat monster and he's like, you think you can destroy me? And then like Van Helsing makes some yell for like more light to come in or something. 
and he just turns into a pile of rats. Yes, it's, it's great. Cool. He also oh, spits yeah. fire on the cross, which is great. That was this, a big trailer image. I yes, remember. it was. Yes. You're totally right. This whole gigantic bat creature outfit is amazing. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. I was like, this movie yeah. is going to be scary. He's no the man thanks. bat, dude. Mm, he is. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mina, I'm going to be honest with you. When you turn into the werewolf and then turn back, there's a lot of itchingness. <laughs> it's, it's all over. It's just it's because the hair goes back in so quickly. But meanwhile, uh, the, the boys, the council of dudes, have destroyed all of his dirt. Most of his dirt in England. Right, so like, right, right. So the, you're like, know, piss on it, Jack. Yeah. yeah. They're, <laughs> oh, yeah. They're pissing on it. They're throwing holy water on it. Fucking Anthony Hopkins is saying Latin stuff, which is never good. No, nope. no, sir. <laughs> you know something's up when that's happening. At some point, I think around here too, when they're trashing all of his houses, Anthony Hopkins is like quoting Othello. Oh, really? Okay. He's just like running around yelling Othello at one point. Why not? Add it to the pile. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Get in there. But there's one box I didn't know about, and that's the one that he he's like, I must return to my beloved Transylvania. Oh, absolutely, dude. Much like Josh Hawley running out of the Capitol building on Jan <laughs> 6, this sure. dude's fucking hightailing it back to Romania. Not, not before Winona sucks Dracula's tit here for a little bit. Ooh. Totally. We get some tit sucking. Mm -hmm. And it basically, because of the tit sucking, she has now put herself on the clock to yeah, turn into a vampire. Yeah, she's like a half a halfsies here. Uh. Halfsies. <laughs> <laughs> One foot in the grave, dude. Exactly. <laughs> and you know that there's some psychic link. So like they know where Dracula's going, but he knows they're coming after him. And like this is the part of the movie where Jack Gary Oldman's just like in a box, tenting his fingers for <laughs> most of it. Totally. And he's just like he's like. Up to like his neck, so you just see yeah. the head, like he's just hanging out yeah. in like a bad hot tub or something. But basically, they they realize like it, they will get to Transylvania faster if they take the train. And Dracula's stuck going all the way around Spain and up through, you know, up, you know by boat or whatever. So they're like, oh, cool, we'll totally have plenty of time to get to his house. Totally trash it <laughs> and then get to the port and fucking kill him. Yeah, party That's at Dracula's house. Yeah, he's out of town. <laughs> party at the moon castle. <laughs> no, I mean, they yeah. get uh, the voiceover is hilarious uh, because it's like, well, we got on the train and we we're going there and uh, he fooled us. Uh, <laughs> yes. But then we we thought we got him again. But nope. Got out in front of us again. Because there's something about like, oh, yeah, well, we got screwed over because a bunch of these Romani that work for him, yeah. like, intercepted the boat and took the box earlier. Yeah. And they're on their way or something. Yeah. It's cool. And this is when they're like, all right, so we need to split up because Mina is psychically telling him stuff. So then, you know, Van Helsing and Mina, that, I'll leave fucking this crazy maniac with my wife. Sure. <laughs> uh, you go this way and then we're going to go that way and we'll meet up at the castle kind of a thing. We do get an awesome Indiana Jones map of the train oh, yeah. and the boat. Oh, going. it's awesome. I love seeing like the little train tracks and the... The boat's just yeah. like a blue line. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's oh, awesome. He fucked us again. <laughs> fucked us right up again. God damn it. So they make camp and Mina is now like kind of half Dracula, like we said, and she is like it's kind of amazing that even Anthony Hopkins, who's like, or even Van Helsing, who's like this, uh, he's he's hell he's hell bent on destroying Dracula. He's like, I think she might be into me. It's like, no, she's not. She's trying to kill you, idiot. Maybe if I buy her a beer, she'll be into me. I've been buying them all night for myself. She likes me for me. <laughs> not because I'm friends with Leonardo. <laughs> God damn, that song is so fucking funny. If you listen to those lyrics, oh, they're yeah. so dumb. Steve Buscemi gets name checked. Oh, yep. Before he was famous enough to be identified as Steve Buscemi. Speaking of which, I guess Buscemi turned down playing Renfield in this movie. I could see that because he probably he didn't weird. want to. Yeah, he didn't want to look more squirrely than he already does. Yeah, totally. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, th there's a weird thing, too, where the brides are... I think giving Mina some like horny vibes. Oh, to so fuck they're, they're with like, Van yes. Helsing. okay. Mm -hmm. But the weird thing about all this is like they get to the castle and like, I don't know, how well do these folks have this castle locked up? Because Mina and and uh, uh, Van Helsing are just outside the front door, like the fucking keypad entry for the Airbnb didn't work. <laughs> like, go inside and wait yes. for him. The best thing is, while he he, he does, uh, they try to attack uh, Van Helsing and Mina, and he makes a circle of fire around himself, and 
uh, Anthony Hopkins, who has cut off heads, taken yeah. out hearts, has tra- traveled back and forth to fucking finish this thing. I've never seen him so upset as when they're killing his horse. <laughs> yes, He's like true. freaking out. He's like, yeah, which is, Nyah! you know, he just, he had, he had to pay extra to fucking put it on the train from England. Oh, definitely. So it was this huge thing. Like he jumped, dropped like a grand just to, well, I have my horse here. That'll be more comfortable. <laughs> well, there yeah. goes the house in London. Yeah. I had my old, I had one more payment left, you <laughs> bastards. <laughs> that was my ride back to town. I was going to trade it in for the newer model <laughs> he fucking to get Mina off of him because she's about to yeah. bite his neck he fucking jams a communion wafer on yeah. her forehead badass move it right? is and I had no idea that shit would actually work right? sure we're making stuff up we're having yeah. fun oh, yeah, fuck yeah. It. I mean I guess it makes sense it's a churchy thing I think he was probably just like I hope this works <laughs> oh, so it's this a good is thing all- I- all I packed for food was yeah. communion raver. It's good I didn't eat them all. <laughs> Dude, and I I know what that's all about, man. When you get, fucking get, get noshing. Because you would have the early morning mass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then right after that, we had to go to Sunday school, which was another fucking hour. So this is like three hours yeah. of your Sunday morning where you have not eaten anything. And the only thing that you will have between your parents waking you up and kicking you out of bed to go to church and the end of Sunday school, when you can finally go to the fucking diner and get an omelet, mm-hmm. was that communion wafer. And what? that, you, you, you lasted on that communion wafer for hours waiting for the diner. One holy Pringle to tide you over. <laughs> <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Anthony Hopkins beheads the brides of Dracula. And if you score at home, that's four women he beheads in this, a two-hour period. Also, great shot of him just throw, chucking all the heads off the cliff. Because yeah. he's still pissed about that horse. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he comes out like he runs in the castle. You don't see like the actual act. He runs out screaming. He's huffing and puffing, <laughs> holding these three heads. Like, yeah, that'll teach you. That's what you do when Horace the horse was a friend of mine. <laughs> Uh, but now it's the big climactic finish where all these Romani are riding Dracula into town and the dude yes. patrol is right behind which him. Which is cool, and we're trying to it's beat a big action scene. the yeah. sunset, oh, yeah. which yeah. maybe would have had a bigger impact if we knew it actually did anything. Well, apparently he's weaker in the He's sunlight. weaker, which makes sense. You could kill him easier. Yeah. Right. It still works, and this is a great sequence. I love just... Seen the council of dudes just shooting guys off of carriages. Billy Campbell gets a fucking sword right in the back. Yeah. He goes down pretty hard. But and he also gets the kill, doesn't he? He does. He gets a kill shot <laughs> yep. because he, they, they it all kind of culminates and Dracula is released. He's about to go nuts. Keanu gets a fucking throat slit. Yeah. Which is a baller fucking and throat cut. Also, man. his costume here is amazing. This gold cloak. And I actually did think it kind of looked like Gustav Klimt stuff and that the trivia yes. said yes. it was inspired That's what it's based yeah, yeah, off yeah. of, right? Yeah. yeah it, it's fucking awesome. I need one of these. <laughs> uh, just to lounge in a bit? No. To walk down the street so, gotcha. so everyone knows a better is among them. <laughs> <laughs> I need the Rothko robe. You understand me? <laughs> There's a great line um, because, like, you know, Dracula's down for the count or whatever, and uh, uh, Hopkins is like, our work here has finished. Hers has just begun. Yeah. And she's got to, like, drag him back into the castle. And this, you know, this whole thing is really nice. Like, this ending. It's actually weird when you think about it. Like, once they go back in the castle, it's Winona Ryder and Gary Oldman. Everybody else is not yep. seen in the movie ever yep. again. Yeah, this is like the last scene. Because mm-hmm. that's what the movie's the about. But, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. It works very much, but at the same time, I was just like, if I was on the Council of Dudes, I'd be like, well, oh, so we're, we're leaving. <laughs> Quincy died, and uh, he's hurt, and we're leaving? First of all, I... I know when he dies, something cool is going to happen. So yeah, I right, know. exactly. Is there like a box I can Listen, sit on to look jo- inside? Jonathan was talking about that stupid, what was it, Blue Infano? <laughs> <laughs> I got to see that. What is? Where is that? Is sounds, that going to happen? Sounds like uh, you're talking about a Highlander's quickening. <laughs> then, and then they're like, all right, so, all right, no, that's fine. Where are those brides of Dracula? I heard a lot about that. <laughs> what, you killed them already? Jesus Christ. They killed my fucking horse. <laughs> Should have got here sooner. <laughs> Oh man, uh, yeah, and you know this whole thing is great. You know he uh, gets stabbed right through the heart and falls down, and you know he kind of like comes out of it, and you know youngifies yes. into oh, yeah. you know beautiful Gary Oldman. Right, in I guess the idea like their love is so strong that it 
defies saves. death so that he, he doesn't <laughs> need to live anymore because yeah. he's got that, I guess. Mm. Don't take money. <laughs> Don't take fame. Don't take no credit card to ride Trans-Siberian Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> to heaven. So he goes to heaven at the end of this movie, which is nice. He does. Yeah. God's like, you know what? Sorry about that, Dracula. <laughs> and meanwhile, Lucy's in hell like, hey, <laughs> fuck. Uh, you know, presumably, of course, with Dracula eating shit, Mina uh, yes. is no longer yeah. under the trance. I mean, uh, what's rad is you, you, you don't know. Well, they, they do spell it a little bit. The communion way for burn oh, her head, but yes, that goes the, away. You're totally right. Yeah, the, yeah. Bur- the burn mark. So you assume cool. that she's now, but, you know, it's not. So so spelled out, but it is implied that she is now free of the I, curse. I think at some point, uh, uh, Van Helsing says something about uh, the only cure now is the death of her maker. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right, she, you're right. She chops his head too. So oh yeah, it's, give it, me peace, which is great. And she pushes the knife; it hits the floor. I love yeah. that fucking ding of the blade hitting the floor, and then boom! Yeah, cut uh, that head off. Uh, oh oh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um. Dracula, <laughs> there's going to have to be a little bit of a sawing motion going on here. Oh, I, I love you. I love you. I love I you. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, that's bone. That's bone I'm seeing right this there. This is humiliating. <laughs> get, get the Hopkins in here. You know, there's a guillotine upstairs. <laughs> I knew you should have let the man do it. <laughs> Uh, oh god damn Dracula still misogynistic yeah. after everything absolutely dude well you know he's like fucking 500 years old That's man true. there's it's, no change in those people uh, it's just it's, traditions to him uh, <laughs> female sword wielders oh god don't get me started what is next <laughs> and the last shot you know we sort of tilt up and we look at the ceiling and there's this big beautiful painting yeah. Of uh, you of know. the Ghostbusters. Well, dude, and- that's what I was gonna say. It's, <laughs> I think it's a fettuccine because it is the same. You just wait for the Dracula. But yeah, it's it's Elizabetta. Is that the the original wife's name? And Vlad and the painting. Fucking beautiful movie, man. Then you get this Annie Lennox song, which is it literally has vampire in the title. Sure, dude. It's good, and it's a good song. It's did not cool. expect. It's a weird when you're watching like a period piece thing like this yeah. that is just straight period piece, and then we're just doing a pop song at the end of it like oh, yeah. that. We love that though. Just the, the late nine, the nineties after the credit pop song. You know yeah. what I mean? Like just yeah. pop it in there because it's yeah. like, wasn't that also kind of what Annie Lennox did with Lord of the Rings? Wasn't she nominated yes. for an Oscar yep, for yep, that yep. song? Yep, yep. <laughs> but she, that's she not she a pop a... song. That's more of a Enya. Yeah, actually. Ah, da, 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 yeah, da. you're right. I had no idea she did a song for it. Oh, yeah. yeah sir. It's, it's way more of a Lord of the Rings song than yes. not. You're right. Uh, but that is Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's Dracula from 1992. Go around the room here. Final thoughts. Eric Siska. Eric Siska's recommendation for Francis Ford Coppola's Bram Stoker's <laughs> Dracula goes as such. Enter here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a good movie. Uh, I love the strangeness and the otherworldliness of it. I think talking it out makes me actually be uh, not as hard on Keanu and stuff yeah. like that because this is a weird fucking movie. None of it sh- should make sense, but it does. And it fucking rules the practical effects and the strangeness of it. I'm a huge fan of this movie. Chris Cabin. It's a term used uh, uh, often with this movie, but I think it really does fit operatic. Mm. Yeah, huge. Everything is huge. Everybody is going towards the ceiling. Yeah. I, I love this. I don't think he ever got this like insane with just like how much he was throwing at the screen. Just yeah. like he was taking every trick he ever learned on this thing and he was just throwing it all up there. And again, like, like Eric said, it shouldn't work. But because of the propulsiveness of it, because of the insanity of it, like he does hit that pitch. There's a pitch that has to match all this stuff. And where so many others would make a very like slow movie to go with all this insanity. And then the performances would suck. Right. Uh, he actually hits it. He hits the pitch and it's, it's beautiful. Steve. Yeah. I love it. It's, it's really like, I think I watched it last year for Halloween and I was definitely ready for it yet again. Kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, it's a good yearly film. Cause there's just so much to see. Like there's, yeah, there, it's one of these like he I kind of I'm really excited for whatever this megalopolis is going to be. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it's in this vein where we're kind of going nuts and just sort of really yeah. having a trying to make a big statement, because I do think that there is a lushness and a real craftsmanship here that is few directors could pull off. And this is Frankie Coppola. Dude, it's great. You would think that, you know, 
Megalopolis, he said repeatedly is going to be his last movie. Like, I hope he's going out on all the stops. Yeah, me too. And I certainly hope Netflix puts it in fucking theaters. They fucking better. I mean, I, I, I will lose my mind. <laughs> I think this movie is what, like, it took all the gas out of the tank, though. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yes. he went right from doing Godfather 3 into making this movie, and he was like, I. I got nothing. Here's yeah. Jack. And you know? Robin Williams? I don't know. Is that doing something for you? <laughs> and I think, you know, this is a movie I didn't come around to until I was older. I didn't like it as a kid because mm. it was, quote, you know, too weird. Yeah. And I had seen the, you know, Browning flick so many fucking times. And I was like, well, that's not Jack. You know, that's, you know, kids are stupid. This movie's great. I mean, I saw a lot of people saying like, oh, of course you're finally doing this. I've requested this as as in as uh, yeah. WHM. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, no, this is an L. Go back, reevaluate this movie. At two hours and four minutes, it fucking flies. And it's the last great Francis Ford Coppola movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it is like, here, let's put it this way. It's, it's a maximalist a lot. It is the Elvis of Dracula movie. There you <laughs> go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but Absolutely. that is going to do it for the entirety of We Love Movies Month, which is wild. That November it. is already over with. Uh, but if you want some more We Love action, head over to patreon.com slash we hate movies. We got a big honking Gleep glossary all about our hairy friend Chewbacca. That's right. He's sort of like a Dracula, but your friend. A, a similar <laughs> Dracula type. We have a We Hate Movies on the feed for, with Hannibal. Sure. And that's, film. you know, that is our sort of lock here, right? Oldman and Hopkins at it again. Uh, mm -hmm. We also have a, a Star Trek uh, Nexus episode, a full length on Star Trek The Motion picture oh yeah very yes. good movie over two hour episode talking about all the nooks and crannies on that guy and of course we kicked off uh the patreon offerings this month with a full big ass length episode of animation damnation uh talking to henry Selick's the nightmare before christmas mm -hmm. great great movie uh so lots of extra content on there supersized content on patreon.com slash we hate movies but next week we go back to the hate feeds we'll be changing the images back to Hate back to normal. Back yes. to normal. And what are we what are we getting back to normal with, Steve? Uh, we're going back to normal live Ooh. with Rocky Five from Philadelphia. Ooh. That's a fun oh, kind yeah. of a, you know, we're, we're, there's gonna be some Christmassy offerings this month. And that's right. that there, that's a sad fucking <laughs> Christmas movie, it folks. Is. It's one of the saddest Christmases Philadelphia ever saw. It was the <laughs> Christmas where there was a weird street fight. Uh but yes, that was a show we did in Philly that was actually recorded properly. So I think we'll be able to get that out to y'all. It was a fun show from what I remember. It was mm -hmm. earlier yeah. this year. So uh, you know, that was a long ways back. But uh we will be back uh, with an in studio offering the week after that. But you know what, folks? It's like Thanksgiving time, so we're giving ourselves the week. Off production wise, there, but we'll be back doing yeah a couple of Christmas related apps, couple of big blockbusters on the H feed, uh -oh. and of course all of your uh, We Hate Movies offerings on the Patreon, including a commentary and one last uh, once in a lifetime for the year. So big stacked ass month in December that we are very much looking forward to. So until next week, when you hear us live from Philly. Talking Rocky Five. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris Cabin. Take it easy. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>